We start with the big two day political meeting between the two leaders of the world's superpowers. U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping have landed in Florida and are due to have dinner, kicking off a summit that's widely expected to be dominated by trade and ways to curb North Korea's nuclear ambitions. For the details of the first face to face between the two leaders, we cross to our Park Jong Hong, who's on the phone for us. Uh, Jong Hong, do we know any exchange of words between Trump and Xi? Hello, Jihe. As of yet, there are no updates from the dinner. However, high on the agenda is reducing trade tensions and dealing with North Korea's nuclear and missile provocations. President Trump aims to reduce America's huge trade deficit with China and have Beijing use its sizable influence to pressure North Korea to change its ways. Aboard Air Force One a few hours ago, Trump told reporters that he will lay down options for dealing with North Korea, reiterated that the North's nuclear and missile programs are a big problem, and added he believes China will agree to help. When asked if he would be ready to act unilaterally if China does not help, Trump said, quote, certainly I would be, according to Reuters. President Trump is said to be hosting a dinner for President Xi at the Mar-a-Lago Resort that he owns in Palm Beach, Florida. This is the first item on the two-day itinerary that includes a formal summit on Friday. Right, and we expect North Korea to be very high on the agenda, especially following Trump's recent comments about Pyongyang. As for the trade issue between the world's two largest economies, Trump has been extremely vocal in his criticism of the lopsided trade balance between the U.S. and China. What do we have more on that? Uh, that's right, Jihe. And while he was en route to Florida, President Trump said the U.S. has not been treated fairly on trade for many years. He said previous U.S. presidents had not taken care of the issue the way they should have. In the closed-door meeting, Trump is expected to repeat the kind of tough statements he often makes on Twitter about the trade deficit with China. But the consensus is that the prospect for substantive discussions on trade is not likely in this setting, but may continue over further diplomatic meetings. Back to you, Jihei.